Hello friends, welcome to this Java programming tutorial series. I am Dinesh Uriani, owner of Java blog by the name Learn Java by Examples. You can visit to this blog at the following link at www.habarspot.com. Do visit to this blog if you want to learn this great programming language. And today I will be continuing to teach you Java programming language. So let's get started. Hello friends, let's continue with our Java programming tutorial series. Today we will discuss what are identifiers in Java. So let's get started. So in the Java world, identifiers are just the names given to class, methods, fields, enum, interfaces, etc. So if we go by the definition, identifiers are the names. class, methods, interfaces, fields, enums, etc. So basically what does identifier contain? Identifier contains sequence of unicode characters, ASCII characters such as capital A to capital Z, small a to small z and 0 to 9. Identifier also contains currency symbols such as dollar. Identifier also consists of connecting characters such as underscore whenever we want to use the identifiers we have to follow some rules so let's see what the rules are rule number one is identifiers must start with with letter currency symbols or connecting characters such as underscores so this is the rule number one and let's see how we can use it suppose we want to say give a name to our variable so the valid identifier would be as per rule 1 you can give dollar it can start with a dollar it can start with a letter and it can also start with a underscore so these are the valid identifiers now let's see what let's move on to rule number 2 rule number 2 says identifiers must not start with a digit so let's see if we start an identifier by 1 2 3 4 then compiler gives a syntax error saying that if you scroll over it, it says invalid variable declarator the compiler says that it's an there is an error on token 1234 as it's an invalid variable declarator so what it suggests that identifier must not start with a digit so let's move ahead with the third rule third rule says that identifiers after the first character can consist of letters, digits, currency symbols, balls and underscores. So what rule says that after the first character identifier can contain all the things of rule 1 plus it can also contain the digit. So the valid identifiers in this case would be if we say int a1234 it's a valid because the starting is because the starting of the identifier is with a letter and then we have followed it by the digit so it's a valid identifier we can also use dollar one two also use underscores one two three four so after the first character we can use anything including digits so let's move on the fourth rule fourth rule says identifiers the identifiers names should not be a java keyword so basically uh, java consists of say 50 keywords so we, we are not supposed to use those key, keywords because they are been already been reserved by the Java. So suppose if I use a Java keyword say class and this will throw an error. It will throw an error stating as the class is an invalid token. We cannot use the class. Although we can use capital C L class. We can also use say true as a valid identifier. But, but if we use small true then it will throw the same syntax error as it will throw the syntax error on token true so we cannot use the reserved java keywords when we are defining any identifier so let's move on to the rule fifth rule fifth says that there is no limit limit in the number of characters that identifier can contain contain means we can use say like 
if suppose I have to give a name now to a int variable we I can give there's this int variable name is too long to use so here so here this the very the identifier name by the say this int variable name is too long to use is a valid identifier we can give the as many of as number of characters to an identifier so this was our rule fifth so let's move on to rule six rule six says that identifiers are case sensitive it means if you are using say identifier as of int variable we are using main then and also we are using main so these two int variables are different and if you if you want to use them then so these two variables are different from each other though the pronunciation and everything is the same but here it's a small main and it's a capital main so they are can sensitive and these consist of two valid identifiers not the one identifier so let's see the some examples of invalid identifiers say suppose we give the int a b c space d e f so this would be an invalid identifier because it consists of space in between so here you so in the first case it consists of space which is invalid thing we cannot give the space in the identifier second we use hash in between so it's not a valid identifier say so suppose i give uh, int colon a b c d suppose i give colon and some numbers so this is also an invalid identifier because start it is starting with a colon which is not an valid identifier so basically in java we have to keep take care of these six rules so if we just go up and see the six rules that identifier must start with a letter current currency symbol connecting character such as underscore the first character should be a letter currency symbol or a and or underscore like like this in the second rule we it says that identifier must not start with a digit so we, so if we use int 1 2 3 4 it will the compiler will give as a syntax syntax error and it will show that it's an invalid variable declarator so the identifier after the first character here first character should be letter currency symbol or connecting character then after first character we can also use the digits as well digits as well so here it couldn't be like a123 dollar 12 underscore 1234 so after the first character we can also use the digit but on the first character we cannot use the digit let's move on to the fourth identifier name must not contain a java keyword java has many keywords so if we use the java keyword such as class small in the small then it will throw a syntax error if we use true then it will throw a uh, syntax error and the fifth we can give the there is no limit on the length of the identifier we can use as much as big identifier just one just only the one scenario that it must be a valid identifier in the rule 6 we see that identifiers are case sensitive it means the int main in small m and int main in capital m are two different identifiers and if we see the some invalid uh, examples of invalid identifiers we cannot give the space in between the identifier we cannot use the hash and we cannot say start or in the middle we can we cannot use the colon we can only use the unicode characters currency symbols digits and the connecting characters such as underscores So friend this was the tutorial on identifiers in Java 
so friends if you like this video then please like us on facebook and youtube share this video on facebook with your friends and if you have any comments to share then share it below you can also subscribe my video on youtube and you can also visit my blog at www.hubberspot.com for more java tutorials and source code thank you very much have a nice day take care bye bye